Hello and welcome to another video. This is the Datacolor Spider X Pro. Now this is a USB device for calibrating your monitor. So let's get out the box and let's have a look. So inside the box you get a card insert with the download link for the software. Then under the plastic fitment is the Spider X itself. Under that is your serial number and you'll need this to activate the software when you install it for the first time. So now it's out, let's have a look at it. So this is the Datacolor Spider X Pro and it's a calibration tool for your monitor. It connects via USB to your computer and is compatible with Windows 7, 8 or 10 and Mac OS 10.10 and up. So you basically hang it over your monitor screen and it reads the colors in and creates a color profile to calibrate the monitor and it will also measure the calibrated display against a series of standards like sRGB and Adobe RGB amongst others. So taking a closer look at the device, the USB cable is 1.6 meters long and the main body, which does feel and look very high quality, is in two parts which come clicked together. The smaller part acting not only as a lens cap, but also as a counterweight when you hang it over your monitor. Here with it open, you can see the lens inside, and on the back of that lens cap is a small circular rubber foot for when you lay it on your desk to take the initial ambient light reading from the room. And it does that with this little light sensor here on the top. So let's see how it all works. Well, the bespoke software tool has a built-in wizard to take you through the process step by step, but I'll show you the basic steps here. So first of all, you need to ensure that your monitor has had at least 30 minutes to warm up prior to doing the calibration. Then you wanna set the built-in manual display controls from your monitor back to the factory settings if you can, and check that there's no direct light falling on your display. Next, plug the USB from the Spider X into a spare USB port on the back of the PC or Mac, and try not to use the front ports or a USB hub as it may affect it working. Then you'll be asked a series of questions about the display you want to calibrate, such as the type of backlight that it's got. So make sure you have your monitor details to hand if you're not sure of anything. And next you'll be asked what type of calibration you'd like to perform. You can choose from full calibration, recalibration, or a calibration check. So I'm going for a full calibration. The software will now need to take a reading of the ambient room light. Place the Spider X on your desk and click the next button. Now make sure you don't have any light shining directly on the Spider X as that's going to mess up the reading. It will then tell you the reading and a target brightness level. You can change that manually, but I've always gone with the suggested setting. You'll then be asked to place the Spider X onto the screen in a position marked by the outline of the device. In order to help with this, as I said earlier, you use the lens cover as a counterweight and you slide it down the cable like this to get it into the correct position. Once it's in place and you click next, the calibration process will start. It will then give you a brightness reading with a target level marked by a green line. You then gotta manually adjust the brightness level on the monitor until it's as close to the center of the green area by adjusting it manually and then clicking update on this button here each time. Once you're happy with it, click continue and with the Spider X still in place, it will perform the calibration. All in all, this generally takes less than two minutes to complete really rather quick. You'll then be asked to save the profile down and your Windows or Mac OS will then use this as the preset for that monitor. You'll also then get asked to set a recalibration date. And then you can have a look at some test images and here you can switch between the calibrated and uncalibrated view to see the improvements. So then finally, you're presented with the results, giving you the percentages of each of four different spectrums, including sRGB, and Adobe RGB. So what do I think? Well, this is a great bit of kit if you're a content creator like me and you want the best color accuracy for your work. Build quality is great and it is very easy to use 
and you can get a great looking picture on your monitor very, very quickly. This does come highly recommended. So I wanna say a huge thank you to Datacolor for sending the Spider X Pro in for review, and I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Also want to say a huge thank you to my current patrons, and I'll put their names on the screen right about here. And I'll leave a link to my Patreon account in the description below. So if you like, you can pop along and join these lovely people in supporting the channel. Speaking of supporting the channel, why not pop along also to our Teespring store and pick up one of our fantastic t-shirts like the one I'm wearing in this very video. So give this video a like if you liked it. I've got loads more videos coming very soon. Best way not to miss any of those is to subscribe below. It doesn't cost a thing and if you click the bell notification icon, you'll be told every time I upload a new video. Speaking of new videos, why not watch one of our other videos on the left hand side of the screen right now. So thanks for watching and I will see you later.